But in trucks, too, we're going to see big savings and a, uh, a, a rethink about the efficiency of trucks and trucking. It's quite easy to produce more than 30% energy efficiencies in trucking, and these are some of the ways you can do it. Uh, low energy tires, 4.3%. So, now, of course, I promise you, you're not going to get all of these savings, okay? If you add them all together, it gets to more than 100%, <laughs> okay? But if you were to take an, a relatively inefficient truck and do just one of these things to it, this is what will happen. A streamlining, uh, that's the fairings on the outside, the, on the front, the back, the, the, uh, the, t the fins on the back. You're talking another 12%. Uh, just lengthening a truck by one and a half meters on average produces quite a significant efficiency just because the other one and a half meters goes through for free in terms of uh, air resistance. Uh, the hybrid engine, 30%. Salvage the heat that's from the engine recycle it, make power out of it, and turn it into aircon. There's the technology to do that. That will save you 5% of your energy costs. You can make power out of your shocks every time you go over a bump in the road. That's wasted energy. There are shock absorbers on the market that generate electricity every single time the truck goes up and down on a bump. By reducing speed, of course, that's a very quick way to save energy. And it's the same with shipping. If you reduce the speed of your ship from 24 knots down to 20 knots, you save something like a quarter of all the energy. And driver training, another 5 to 10 percent. But, you know, one of the biggest scandals for me in this whole thing, or one of the biggest opportunities, is these empty trucks. And there's just one retailer who shall remain nameless, but you might be able to guess, uh, in the U.S. They waste 25 million trucking miles a year carrying air. There's absolutely nothing in the truck on the return journey. Now, that is an incredible opportunity for us. And of course, it's made more complex by the fact that every truck is an advertisement for that particular company, even though it's just carrying air 50% of the time. If trucking was much more integrated, so we had different companies able to utilize the same resource, we'd be talking a different story. More than 30% of all EU truck journeys are completely empty. Now, to make it even more of a scandal in the EU, our own systems only allow three further deliveries in seven days from one truck before they have to return to their country. We actually force, by law, trucks to run empty because each of our individual microscopic countries, many of which are even much, much smaller than an individual state here, are so fiercely protective of their own trucking industries that they are more or less forbidding truckers from doing sort of the equivalent of multi-state deliveries here. 